Hello everybody, this is Diego Brando on Magic Online, and welcome to another episode of Flavor of the Week. Uh, this is, uh, depending on what the uh, published results are for this week, uh, I might end up just storing this one in the back for later. Uh, for a rainy day, uh, but yeah, so this is my own brew, uh, I'm still on of one mind, I think it's absolutely busted, it just needs the right shell, and I don't particularly know if Delver is that shell. Uh, there was something Burban uh, or Entropy on Magic Online, uh, said on the stream, or on, uh, his stream while he was testing for, uh, the challenge, which we both went O2 drop in, <laughs> uh, but, uh, he was talking about how Of One Mind really wants to be in, like, a tap-out shell, and Delver isn't, or a tap-out tempo shell, and Delver is not that. Uh, so I've kind of built a tap out tempo shell. Uh, so let's start with the creature package. Uh, so we have four fairy guide mothers. Uh, this is one of the best creatures in the deck, and I'll explain why. Uh, so it's an adventure card. Uh, which I'll probably I'll probably put like adventures in the title of the deck, uh, but it's an adventure card, which means you can cast its adventure, uh, gift of the Fey. Uh, target creature gets plus two plus one and gains flying until end of turn, uh, which is super nice with creatures we'll talk about later, and it also is a fairy for one mana, so. If you want a uh, ninja turn two, you can always play it out, and it counts for spell star spreading. Uh, so we have four of those. Uh, I guess I'll just go through non-humans first. That seems best. Uh, then we have four fairy seers. Uh, one thing that's really rough about this deck is the mana. Uh, as you can see, we've got five planes. Uh, six islands, three evolving wilds, and four ash barons. Honestly, I probably should go up another island and cut an evolving wilds. Uh, but, yeah. Fairy Seer, turn one, can help set up uh, trying to find, trying to sort out our mana for turn two. Ideally, we'd want a turn two Seeker, but life doesn't always turn out that way. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, and then Spell Star Sprite, everyone knows it, fantastic with Ninja, uh, just a good counter. It's the only real disruption that this deck has, with the exception of Art and Veil, but yeah, it's the only spell disruption this deck has. Uh, and honestly, that's perfectly fine, like, even with, like, even if we, like, our Fae die somehow uh <laughs> somehow uh like we're not we're totally fine with just countering one mana spells like countering cantrips countering because again we just really want we want non-humans with upsides and this is a non-human with one of the best upsides uh that also synergizes nicely with our deck so yeah uh, onto the humans, fourth Raven Inspectors. For humans, uh, it doesn't really get better than this outside of the next card I'm going to talk about. Uh, three, when it enters the battlefield, you investigate. Uh, it's just, it shows up in Boros. It's super strong, replaces itself, has a 1 2 body. Just generally a pretty all around great card. Uh, and also, being one mana is really nice, so we can potentially turn two 
of one mind and not even if it's not necessarily turn two like just being able to get a human onto the field to turn on of one mind uh, is really nice then we've got four seeker of the way which is actually how the best it gets for uh, humans well, I guess I guess there's an argument to be made for ninja but that requires more support I guess Seeker of the Way does too. Fight over in the comments, which is better? Uh, I think in this show this is better, but... Uh, Seeker of the Way, of course, has prowess and gains lifelink when you cast a non-creature spell. Uh, originally printed at Uncommon, Downshifted, very strong card. Uh, especially with, we're running 8 cantrips, 4 Preordain, 4 Ponder. Uh, but yeah. Uh, then we have two Ardenvale Tactician. This card is... Basically, the reason this card is in here is to support... Is that A, it's both a creature and a non-creature spell. As before, it has an adventure half. Uh, which, it's really nice because we don't have... Our big beater is going to be like Seeker or like a ninja with Guide Mother or Gift of the Fae. Gift of the Fae is great because it can give Seeker and Ninja evasion. And so tapping two target creatures really helps us, uh, can really help us, uh, push through like the le last lethal swing that we need uh, but yeah the only issue is I rarely find myself casting it for its creature cost I think it I do occasionally do it because sometimes because this deck does sometimes lead to longer games which is where spell star sprite and of one mind really shine uh, but yeah uh, and then, of course, Ninja of the Deep Hours. Great resets. Basically, every single card in our deck, except for Secret of the Way, gets value out of Ninjutsu with uh, Ninja. And since we have so many of them, even if like a few blo get blocked, we can almost always guarantee one getting uh, Ninjutsu'd up. But yeah, so that... Serves as a great source of card advantage, even if we're not pushing. We can and like Guide Mother and Ardenvale Tactician can kind of ensure that Ninja gets in more than just once. Uh, but yeah, uh, then as mentioned before, eight uh, cantrips to support our mana and help uh, Seeker of the Way. Uh, Four Drain Nowheres is our only creature removal. Uh, I've tried other creature removal, just haven't been satisfied with it. I think Journey to Nowhere is as good as it gets, and I think we have enough card draw to justify running it. Uh, and of course, for Of One Mind, the basic build around. Uh, this is what, this is the gas that keeps our deck running. Onto the sideboard, it's a complete mess, because all of my pre-built, or homemade sideboards are. Four Blue Blasts, uh, three Light of Hopes. I've been really impressed with this card. Uh, but yeah, so you can choose one, gain four, destroy an enchantment, or put a 1-1 one, one counter on a target creature. Uh, however, running three of it does mean that I had to cut down on Fragmentizes. Uh... So we only have two kind of hate cards against Affinity, which might be a mistake. Maybe I go, uh, I think I might switch to Dust to Dust uh, here, which is a three mass spell that exiles two artifacts. But yeah, Fragmentize being on one is just really nice against Affinity because you can take out their turn one artifact land. Uh, we got Luma Thread Field. We have a bunch of one toughness creatures. We have 12 of them. Uh, Luma Thread Field also, in a pinch, can count as a non human. Uh, 
if y you cast it for its morph cost, uh, which I think is nice. Uh, two standard bearers against Boggles, Stompy, Heroic, uh, sometimes even Burn. I don't bring it in against Burn because we have three Light of Hope, four Blue Blast, and two Strands. Also Strands, great against almost all the same decks plus Bully. Uh, but yeah, so that's basically it. Uh, hopefully we'll do better than my last league with it, which was the shell was a lot rougher. I feel like this is a lot tighter. Uh, I'm going to see, I still have the third Evolving Wilds in just for Ponder, but I will see if maybe I want to go up another island. But yeah, uh, so without further ado, let's just jump into round number one. Alrighty, now round number one, we are against Jonah C18043. Like it because it rhymes. We have won the die roll. Very nice for a tempo deck. Uh, I am going to keep this hand. It's a little slow. That's the thing, is we don't have like mono blue delvers like turn one Fey into turn two spell star sprite or yeah, or we don't have it as consistently. Uh, but we still, I think the like the draw power behind Ovalon Mind kind of means it doesn't matter all that much. All right, so they're a similar tempo deck. Two bottom, that's good. Uh, ooh, Seeker of the Ways was a really good draw here. Uh, but yeah, so, let's see what they do. If they snap it, then we have issues. Other than that, and even then, if they snap it, I'm just going to play out Fairy Guide Mother. Alright, they don't snap it. Does not mean they won't. Important to note. Uh... Hmm. I think I cast Fairy Guide Mother. Alright, now I have... Maybe, nah, er... Hmm. Maybe I should have waited till after. Never mind, I made the right choice. Totally intentional. But yeah, all right. So now next turn we can of one mind and ninjutsu or leave up spell star sprite for three. Yeah, things are just everything's looking. Oh no, that's not good. So they're going to yep bolt my uh, seeker of the way, which is a pain, but in the grand scheme of things is actually fine. Uh, I'm going to cast the Raven Inspector. And then I'm going to, of one mind, hope we draw into a land. We do draw into a land and another Spell Star Sprite, because of one mind is pure, unadulterated gas. I'm not good at ninjutsu just yet. Uh, cause I am, uh, I would be lying if I said I wasn't scared of, uh, Bolt or Scred again without Sprite backup. And we have the option, because Thraven Inspector is so good, we have the option of just cracking the clue if they don't do anything. Suspect. Alright, they play in Evolving Wilds. Yep. That's totally fine. Crack. Alright, we get an island. Alright, another ninja is very good news. Attack.
Ninjutsu out for Raven Inspector. Alright, Tragic Lesson. I'm going to sprite that. And they concede! Okay. We out Delver Delver. Uh, yeah, Seeker away of the way. Yeah, we were lucky that they didn't have a second bolt. But yeah, so they're going to have Red Blasts. So I'm going to bring these in. Uh, Electricories too, probably. Uh, so against Delver, uh, Guide Mother gets a lot worse, I feel. So let's cut two of those. Cut two journeys. Well, it's not, I don't know if it's Blue Red Delver, but it's definitely at least Blue Red Fae. Most likely. Uh, but yeah. Not having instant speed removal is my one, like, real concern about this deck. Maybe I should. No, 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 I did not mean to submit this deck. Oh god. Oh god, oh fuck. No, no, no. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Oh. Damn my itchy trigger finger. But yeah, uh, cause they can blow out Guide Mother with removal. Uh, which means because of the way Adventure works, we won't get the creature. Uh, if the spell doesn't resolve. But yeah. Uh, I'm gonna keep this. Turn one, ponder. Then turn two, I can ponder with Evolving Wilds. Seems pretty good. Alright, they start on Evolving Wilds. Gets an island. Alrighty. Another Arden Veil vale Tactician isn't really what I want. Uh, don't want of one mind. Yeah, we got a ton of cantrips. Not really a lot of lands. Uh, my main fear here is, again, because we don't run gut shots, I probably should, hmm, I maybe should cut Arden Veils. Uh, but again, since we don't cut, run gut shots, yeah, okay, they preordain, which is good, because that means that they can't uh, sprite. Alright, they have Seer, which is a pain, but it's not the end of the world. Ardenvale's a good body, though. Alright. Doom. I think Doom Doom. I think we want Evolving Wilds here more. But yeah. Get white mana. I wouldn't have minded getting both Evolving Wilds and Ash Barons, because I do need to... But I also need to get a non... I need to get some sort of... board presence. Alright, they ninjutsu out a ninja. Alright, so I'm gonna play out Thraven Inspector so I can chump block that. If they spend a bolt on that, I'd be totally fine. 
because then we have Ardenvale, which actually trades with Ninja. Or not trades, which actually just kills Ninja. Doesn't die. Very nice feature of it. Uh, but yeah, okay. Cast Ardenvale. If they bolt it, that's bad news, but eh, life happens. Yeah, I think cutting for Guide Mother here is definitely the way to go, especially on the draw, because uh, you don't, like, we're not going to be out delvering Delver. And they can blow us out. We're not going to consistently be out Delver and Delver. All right, so they ponder. So they're gonna search up for search up for a removal spell if they don't have one already. They have five cards. They're gonna have six cards in hand, which is very concerning, huh? Okay, they do it for Augur of Bolas. So they're really digging for a removal spell. So they don't have one. That is reassuring beyond belief. Uh, but yeah, so now, and for my next trick, all right, get another island. So I am able to uh, cast of one mind if I draw a fey. Fairy Seer, they scry. So that, I assume that means they have a land, they're going to Tragic Lesson. Okay, two on top's bad. I'm assuming that means land, Tragic Lesson, removal spell. Oh, or not. Okay. I'm going to try and bait out a uh, sprite with a uh, Thraven Inspector. Hey, what do you know? Yeah. The one thing that's not great about uh, Fairy Seer uh, is that it does have that Aaron's the Battlefield trigger, uh, which means that they can blow us out with removal if they sense an of one mind coming down the line. Alright, get the ninja. Maybe it was right, it would be right to get the sprite. Okay, they scred an Arden Vale. Nah, I think this is the right choice. Alright, so since they put two on top, I'm guessing they have removal, or no? Maybe they have deprive to get back removal? Either way, they're bouncing that Ash Barons, I'm guessing? Why would you... I get... okay, no. I... that's not a why would you. That makes sense if they didn't draw lands and they needed an untapped blue source for Sprite. Or for like a, a cantrip to dig. They're playing snap and blue red. Definitely blocking here. No ninja. All right, let's preordain. Okay. Think top, top, actually. OK, 
because mana might be the way that we get them here. Okay. Then we ponder. Uh, honestly, I don't want to shuffle these away. I guess I want to shuffle the ninja away. Alrighty. Uh, so yeah, pass turn. But snap and blue red delver. Seems suspect. Alright, brainstorm. Presumably paired with a shuffle effect. Or Fairy Seer. Fairy Seer works too. Now the pain is sprites back online. Alright, they get in. Crack. I'm gonna cast. Okay, it resolves. That's good. I wish I would have been able to. Yeah, no, it was wrong to crack the clue there, because now I can't hold up uh, Blue Blast. Alright, they tragic lesson. They have another. They return the Ash Barons. Which means Brainstorm is live again, which is a pain, because now they bolt my Arden Veil, which I can't protect, because I was a dummy. Uh, but yeah. I was just expecting Arden Veil to get countered. It was a surprise. Alright, Preordain. Puts two cards on top of their library. Augur of Bolas gets the other card they put on top of their library, likely a removal spell, or a Pyroblast. Well, we have a Blue Blast for that. Alright, they don't get in there, which makes sense. Uh, I'm gonna preordain. Okay, uh, bottom top, okay. And I'm going to pass turn, save the ponder for next turn, to turn on prowess for Seeker of the Way. Yes! Oh, dang it, I was hoping they would get greedy and try and remove on our turn. Yeah, they played the island. All right. Pass this turn to us. We get another blue blast. That's really nice. Will not lie. But yeah, this Seeker just totally negates their clock. I think Seeker is very nice against... Uh... Yeah, I'll, I'll fight over that. We have the luxury of doing that because... Okay, they tap all of their red mad. They don't have removal. Alright. 
right, they win. I hope you're glad, opponent. You spent two pyroblasts and a counter spell to counter my, uh, yeah. Alrighty. I probably shouldn't have gone in as deep as I did, but I got Counterspell out of them, which is good, because that can't be countered uh, by anything I have in my deck right now. We need another Fae. Guide Mother would actually be good right now. But, yeah. Alright, so they have a Ninja. Or not. Okay. Seeker, just to test the wires for counter. I didn't think they had one, but yeah. But yeah, I think they have removal, but that's totally fine. Even if they remove my ninja of the D powers, I get to replay Thraven Inspector and have double Seeker to deal with removal. Yep, they scred it. Alright, but yeah, so that's good. So we are drawing two cards next turn, our opponent's only drawing one. Unless, of course, they find a ninja, in which case, we are the fools. They play Mystic Sanctuary. To get back, uh, removal, tragic lesson. I would think Tragic Lesson is the way to go here, because we're fighting for top decks. Yeah, it's absolutely the way to go. We're both out of gas, but they have Mystic Sanctuary. Alright. Uh, we can't cast Of One Mind for its discount right now. So let's just cast it as a divination, which at this point in the game, I don't think we really mind casting it as a divination. Alright. We get a Ninja of the Deepers. Deepers. Oh, see your problem. There you go, Ninja the Deepers. Alright. They can only kill one of my Seekers. And if they do, this Ninja the Deep Hours is going to be very happy. Yeah, I think we just take out an Augur Bullis. Alrighty, Tragic Lesson, Bounces Sanctuary. And they can replay Sanctuary this turn, and if they've drawn a cantrip, can redraw into Tragic Lesson, or whatever happens to strike their fancy. Mm -hmm. Yep, another Tragic Lesson, which means they drew removal. I'm going to do it off the Raven. 
minimize my losses if they remove it. All right. All right, this is really nice. All right, are they gonna trade with Thraven? That's fine by me. Ninja. Cause yeah, we not twelve damage. No not twelve damage. The rest were blocked. So, yep, they do a bit of our board clear. All right, Seeker of the Way. Oh man, I wish I would give anything for Guide Mother's Gift of the Fae to be an instant. So that would be so good because you can ninja one. You can ninja one buff. Yeah, it would oh, it'd be so good. But yeah, they're drawing a bajillion cards, so I'm not sure about this one. We can definitely still win. But it's going to be an uphill climb. Alright, luckily it looks like they've been drawing duds. Alright, preordain. Bottom, top, uh, move to combat. Swing in. Ninja. Ready. A preordain is really nice. We're going to be able to trigger prowess on two seekers. Yeah, our opponent's in a tight spot here. They need uh, that uh, ground based. They need. Uh, I don't even know if they bring it in. They'd bring it in against us, but they need swirling sandstorm. No, I mean, Guide Mother was perfectly fine. Uh, this match. Maybe 62 cards is the way to go. Now, maybe I split it in Fairy Seers. Pro yeah. Problem is, especially on the draw. Alright, so they put Scred on top. They Augur. Get Scred. Scred that. I scred the news today, oh boy. 10,000 holes in Blackford, Lancashire. Alrighty. 
already. Resealed. Bottom, top, all right, they have deprive, but we still get the, the boon, uh, of one mind. All right, getting Fairy Guide Mother. I think we still swing with both, because if they, there's no way that they double block. They double block Ninja. Oh yeah, they did put Scred. No, they didn't put Scred on top of their library. They can, but they need to. They need to remove two creatures right now. And since we have Guide Mother, oh god, Guide Mother is really good in the, like in this shell. I've never seen Guide Mother be good before, but I guess yeah, like all it needed was of one mind and now it's just good. <laughs> Alrighty. We get a spell starter sprite, which is fantastic. Get to the Fey. So yeah, we can counter two spells. Uh, yeah, so I think we have this. Get to the Fey is a two CMC spell. And they concede. You can tell because Moto stutters and occasionally crashes. Alrighty, 2 and 0 versus Blue Red Delver, which, while not particularly at the top of the meta right now, is still like a respectable deck. But yeah, alrighty, I will see you guys in round number 2. Alrighty, round number 2, we are against Jer James B. I think he was uh, on the latest episode of the. Uh, Popper Players Podcast. Uh, can't be certain, but yeah. Alright, this hand is great. Uh, but he's on Mono Blue. We beat Blue Red Delver, match one, but yeah. Honestly, uh, Blue and Blue Red Delver have been on the down tick. Now that Fogtron's on the uptick, though. Like, it placed an absurd amount in the most recent challenge, if I recall. <sighs> Sorry if I'm very tired. I stayed up till 3 a.m. last night playing Persona 5 Royal uh, before I noticed that it was 3 a.m. Yeah. Okay, this is good. Alright, let's see what they... Alright, no flip is really good. Now they probably spend their turn cantripping. Yeah, so cantrip uh, fairy would be a pain. Uh, 
Yeah. So they didn't shuffle, right? Yeah. Oh, no flip though. Hmm. I guess they're hitting their lands. All right, they sprite my sprite. Yeah, I just I need to get through Okumura's palace. Fuck that palace. Alrighty, I'm not going to trade here. Yeah, so we were fortunate in that they tapped out. Of one mind. I shouldn't uh I shouldn't have played out my land. Cause now I can't play another fairy seer. Snap. Alright, Snap's actually really bad for us. They can either reset Spell Star Sprite or counter uh, Fairy Guide Mother. Yep. Alright, Spire Home. Let's try Fairy Seer. I think bottom both. All right. Spire Gomes are real pain. And so is the snap. All right. Oh, God. Yeah, another Spire Golems. Bad news. Maybe I should be running Echoing Truth, but I don't have the counter magic to back it up. And bounce removal just gets so much worse without counter magic. Alright. Ponder. This play out this. Ninja. Unfortunately, I can't double ninja, which would be nice because then I can. Uh, respond to snap. Yeah. 
Yeah, so they snap. Alright, next turn I'm going to fair or er, I'm gonna evolving wilds for planes. Get a trade there. Yeah, we're gonna yeah, we weren't winning that game. The Spire Golems were just too good. Alright, begin sideboarding. Honestly, there's not really a lot. I need some dispels, I think. I kind of want to bring in a light of hope. Cut the guide mother, cut three guide mothers. All right. Yeah, because as I said before, we can't really out Delver Delver. If I had better options, I would. Yeah, I was unimpressed by Ninja that time. Like, it just kind of clogged up our hand. If I do Standard Bear, that only gets their snaps. Which admittedly is nice, but I, yeah. But yeah, White of Hope just helps our fairies trade. Uh, I'm gonna keep this, actually. I'd much rather, this is a hand I'd be much happier with on the draw. Alright, Seeker of the Way is good, Plains is good. Alright, so we get rid of turn one Delver. Okay, they just Piracy Charm. Uh, so it's just the Raven. Alright, they miscreant. Ponder. Uh, seeker of the way. Move to combat. Get in. But yeah. This way ninja is bad for them. Uh, the worst line for us here would be snap. Because we don't have the lands to double spell. I'd like another Plains or Island. But yeah, if they're just pondering... They can still snap us, yep, and they do. Oh, God. Okay. Opponent. 
gets in ninja All right, uh, put a 1-1 one, one counter on Thraven. What are you going to do, snap it? Snap my Thraven? Totally down with that. Gotta say, do not want these Guide Mothers. I would much rather have Fairy Seers right now. They're deciding. Another snap is bad news. Alright, no snap. Alright. Maybe I should try Fire Sea Charm in the sideboard. I know our I already said that I need to Alright. Miss Grant number one is fine. Yeah. We just gotta keep them from double countering. Which we're doing a pretty good job of right now. We're not in the worst position. I that light of hope was actually really I, I gotta say, I've really been impressed by Light of Hope. Preordain, they're gonna counter it. Yep. Running out another Thraven. Maybe I should have run out Guide Mother there. Yeah, I think running out Guide Mother there was the right play. But we got rid of two counters. Okay, they get another Miscreant. They get a uh, Fathom Seer. So they get to draw. One of those cards in hand is an island. Alright. Okay. Yeah, we really have not drawn into our other land. We're an 18 land deck. I mean, I guess that isn't the most, but still. Yeah, I'll let the preordain resolve because I know they have an island in hand. One top, one bottom. All right, go to Sprite that. They sprite my sprite. All seeming ominously familiar. Well, we can always lie to hope it. Alright, gotta keep them from, gotta get every edge I can. Journey. Journey. Alright, I would have liked to keep them because if they have another ninja in hand, which I think is semi likely, 
Oh yeah, now that they've drawn another card. Okay, Mystic Sanctuary, gonna get back. Snap. Or are they gonna get back? Get back Piracy Charm. Interessante. So they're going to bounce Sprite. Yep. Makes sense. So now they have Piracy Charm so they can kill our Seeker. Guide Mother. Yeah, I think we have no choice but to tap these two down and then get it countered by uh, Sprite. It's our last spell in hand. There would be no reason not to. Yeah. We just got overwhelmed by our tempo. Jared James is one of the better if not one of the best uh, mono blue players. Yeah, they had counterspell and another piracy charm. We were dead. All right. Well, <sighs> one and one isn't the worst record to have. We'll put off our dreams of trophying for when this shell is more polished. But yeah, on to round uh, number three. Alrighty, round number three. We're against Flowero. Uh, I'm going to keep this hand because of cantrips. But yeah, against Mono Blue, we we're definitely out tempoed. I think game two, I can definitely blame that on Lance. But yeah, I'm going to add some piracy charms to the sideboard. Alright. Ponder. So, turn one swamp means it's probably mono black control. I lost them in my other league. I think it's... The problem is, of one mind gets a lot worse the more creature removal they have. Uh, but we can just kind of cantrip value. Arden Veil Tactician is a pretty high priority card here because it can clear the way for ninjas and the like. Any order, shuffle. Alright, we get Guide Mother. Alright, Mon ooh, Monstrous Caravid. Oh, maybe this is... Caleb Gannon just released a, a video about uh, Mono Black. Or not Mono Black. On a cycling... Oh, well, mostly Mono Black. Cycling Storm. Which looked really interesting. And I might play it for Flavor of the Week. Just because it looked like a really fun deck. Uh, they hit another swamp, which we really did not want them to do. Alright, they play out Sphere this turn, which is good. They're not getting that sweet, sweet storm count. Alright, Godmother. So they can't interact with us in any meaningful way. Alright, Cycle Horror. 
I'm uncomfortable with how much they've been able to cycle. Dark Ritual makes me very uncomfortable. Cycle. Usually they would save that. Alright. Okay. Move to combat. Get in. Ninja. Uh, yes, I would like to draw. Alright, basic land cycling. Give me another planes. Uh, so basically, the plan next turn. I'm guessing maybe they're going to play out a Lurching Rot Beast just to uh, stop our ninja. I think. Okay, they don't. So I'm going to leave up Counter Magic. Alright, Journey to Nowhere is not necessarily where we want to be. Yes, draw a card. Dump Arden Vale. Alright, they cycle Vantasaur. We're going to counter, uh, okay, what's in their hand? We're going to counter Songs of the Damned. Uh, maybe cycling there is a bad idea. Now, know that they can go off at instant speed. Like, they can get their stuff back, but they can't kill us. Okay, so we need to get... This also lets us counter, well no, we can't counter Reaping the Graves, it's the whole allure of Reaping the Graves. <sighs> Alright, Preordain. Top. Top. The Raven Inspector. Get in. We just gotta keep pressuring them. This is a deck where if we had red, I might run a few... I don't know. If we... If Lab was still legal. Alright, they cycle Lurching Rot Beast. So they are at least thinking about playing one out. Alright, they cycle Lurching Rot Beast. This probably means they have a Songs. Cycle of Horror. I'd like to draw into another ninja as soon as possible. Alright. Alright, Fairy Seer. Uh, you, do me, you do me no good, and I can draw into more of you. Alrighty. Yep, so we have Lethal next turn. We have Double Sprite, but they do have a lot of cards in hand. Uh, but they have to beat Double Sprite. Alright, they concede. Alright, so Journey to Nowhere seems mediocre, but it also seems almost like a necessary evil. This is bad.
Light of Hope Blue Blast to counter Dranath Stingers. Cut those, cut those. Maybe we don't bring in Light of Hopes. Uh, I feel so bad because Light of Hopes just such a flexible card. Like, I almost never don't want it. Here, let me let me go to my main deck. Uh, let me go to main deck. <sighs> Arnville is so key to pushing through damage, though. All right, add two of those. Cut one Luma thread, one blue blast, because we have White of Hopes. Yeah. I'll try it that way. It's also nice against elves. White of Hope's also nice against elves. Bottom of Fairy Seer. Alright. Yeah, we don't have graveyard hate, but I'm not super attached to graveyard hate. Bottom, bottom. Alright, they cycle lurching rock beast. So we want to get Sprite here. I wonder if they have an actual sideboard, because in the Kilgan video they did not. Hmm, maybe I should have kept it? Nah. cycle. So yeah, the play here is definitely, we want dig for, uh, okay, not definitely, but I think we want to just dig for fairy seers. They have no way of removing my seer of the way. Alright, their street rates have applied pressure to themselves. Yeah. Psycho Drath Stinger. Oh, God. Alright. Play Seeker of the Way. Really good pressure. Ready. Yeah, next turn, even if they play out. Yeah, my main concern is we don't have any counter magic or source of card advantage. Of one mind would be great. Uh, but yeah. Takes a will, care bid. 
All right, anything else? No. Get to the Fae. I think we represent Sprite. This does mean our clock's a little slower. Hmm, maybe it wasn't right. But I think we just, we're entering the territory where we have to be cautious. I really want them to play out. Okay, looks like they're storming off. Yep. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, if they follow this up with reaping. Okay, no reaping. But so far their storm count is only five. So you can only get six cards back from the yard. Okay, they can get seven cards back from the yard. Now I'm starting to get a little more nervous. Yeah, not having instant speed removal is such a pain. Yep, reaping. Uh, I suppose I'll just let this deck play out. Alright. Yep, get bath. Get bath. Get bath. Get back stingers. So I presume they play out one stinger. The question is are they going to be able to kill us? I think the answer is almost definitely yes. Look at how many cards they have in hand. Look at how much mana they have. You know how many cycling creatures they have in their deck? Approximately 10 bajillion. Alright, yeah, there's no point in holding up. Or in pretending that we have spell star, because if we had spell star, we would have uh, countered songs. Alright. Problem really starts when they draw a Lotus Petal. Or have they played a land this turn? I don't know, and I'm not going to scroll up through the millions of... Okay. Yeah, that's bad. That means they play out a second Duraneth Stinger. So we'd need them to blank heavy. Yep, they get their third Dranath Stinger. And now we're pretty much just dead. Yeah. When the deck goes off, it's super impressive. I know Kung Fu Trees kind of dismissed the deck after some testing, but he also changed the deck a lot. I think, oh. You didn't get back any Street Wraiths. Okay.
All right. So I think that means we're actually, we might actually be safe. Unless they're playing around Dispel. Oh, we should have played out Guide Mother last turn. I was just, yeah. Because either way, they're going to play... They were going to play it out. Yeah. I guess they must have run out of cycling creatures, because otherwise they would have hit us while they still had three Dranath Stingers. Okay. They, it looks like they have another Reaping. We have Dispel Mana up. Do they, all right, it looks like they drew another Stinger. But yeah, Hydro Blast, death, definitely what we want. But yeah, we would have won if we had played out the Godmother. They cast Street Wraith. Interesting. So I think that means we just win. Okay. Yeah, they get in for four. They must have blanked big time. Alrighty. I'm not going to complain though. Because it looks like Diego. Yeah, alrighty. They fizzled. I did not expect them to fizzle, but it's why you make them play it out. Yeah. Decks, the deck's definitely cool, but yeah. I think, I don't know, but we're 2-1, and one. that's not the worst place to be, we are teetering on 2-2, two and two. we just, we've also only had 2 O's or O2's, but yeah, we will see if we can continue this streak in round number 4, alrighty round number 4. We have a turn 2 ninja, even if it's not the prettiest turn 2 ninja. So I'm going to keep this. Okay. Nettle Sentinel, that's bad news. We really want... Uh, okay, we drew a Seeker of the Way. So we want the ability to protect this Seeker of the Way. I feel bad right now are only non-human. They're also going to have sideboard cards for us, so that's bad. Uh, bottom top. Alright. So they get in, which means they're setting up for a burning tree or a two-drop. Because otherwise they would have kept... Oh, they're elves. Okay, this is going to be interesting. We don't have a lot of disruption. Nope, ponder first. Any order, shuffle. Alright, we get a Thraven. Get a Plains. Swing in. Alright. They get in. They play Elvish Vanguard. I think that's what we end up removing. 
which feels bad because then we let the priest of Titania result, and they have Quirion Ranger. Alright, our saving grace here is that they don't have blue mana. Alright, they have two priests of Titania. So yeah, we definitely... Alrighty. Search out white. Journey nowhere. But yeah, white of hope's gonna be important in this matchup. Help us trigger your seeker of the way, make good trades, and destroy spider silk armor. That's the big one. That's the thing about White Oak, it's never dead. And that's why I like it so much. Alright, let's all on a hunt master, but they're hellbent. Alright. Seeker of the way. Of one mind. This triggers prowess. Always oh, yield. Thraven Inspector. This at least keeps their one ones from getting in. Alright, so we're gonna fairy guide mother. I would like to save it for ninja, but Getting in one ninja hit seems fine. <sighs> yeah, I almost think we cut two tacticians. But what for? We have 12 humans, so that's not an issue. Maybe two piracy charms. I'll try piracy charm. Alright. Would they play virtual rangers? That's a problem. Uh, okay, we drew a, a sprite. Which, we don't have enough fey for it to make an impact. I guess it can counter... Uh, certain spells. Actually, no, yeah, now it can counter lead the stampede. And if they don't, I can always crack the clue, furthering our card advantage. And also, if they do play something I can counter, I can then bounce. Spray back to hand with guide mother with ninja though honestly guide mother is also a good ninja target I think spray is just better yes excellent alrighty so yeah we get to counter that that's really good they are still going wider than us uh, but this Thraven Inspector is really holding down for it. Maybe I should keep the pirate. Uh, hmm. Maybe I move Light of Hope main board. Oh, it's just such a good card. It's so good. Alright, move to combat. Get in. Boom.
Oh wait, no, I should have... I forgot to swing in with the... Oops. Alright. Let's journey. Alright, get rid of the... Uh... Get rid of the birch ore, actually. Because this way they can't... Distant Melody. Hello, Quarantine Cat. But yeah, it feels bad doing that. Do you want to leave? Apparently he does. Then he's going to come back ten minutes later. Like clockwork. They play the forest, yep. Of n no concern to me. Alrighty, draw with a clue. Alright. Oh wait, not yet. <laughs> really wish I had more blue mana. Maybe, it may, I think I should have led on Preordained to try and find an island. Never mind. Never any doubt, not a single thing of doubt. Alright, we want a Guide Mother here so we can... Er, no, actually, we don't really need Guide Mother. I guess another Lissalana would be bad. But that's about it. Alright, Thraven Inspector. Oh, have I not been attacking with Faye? I haven't, haven't I? Alright, they're gonna just chump my Seeker, that's fine. What really matters is that lifelink, that sweet, sweet lifelink. Alright. The Raven Inspector and Spellstar Sprite are just so nice together. Alright, yep. They play another Timber Watch, we counter it. Alrighty. Uh. All right. Get prowess. Alrighty. Bottom top. Uh, Gift of the Fey, Ninja of the Deepers. So now we can counter Distant Melody. Or we already could before. Guide Mother. Well, no, I should have waited till after uh, Ninja. Alright. Alrighty. Yep, so they chump seekers. Yeah, we're one damage short, so we would have won if we had not fucked up, but we win anyways because I have this sprite. Yep, they concede. And right about now is the time I really wish I had Piracy Charm. 
Uh, but yeah, so we want strands, standard bearer, three light of hopes. And honestly, Loom Thread Field isn't that bad. Uh, okay, Cut Tactician. Journey Nowhere is important. Guide Mother is important. I don't want to cut any of the fairies and weaken uh, Sprite. Alright, so since I'm adding two standard bears, I guess Ninja isn't great in this matchup. <sighs> I don't want to cut of one mind. Cut one. No, but they just don't have a way to disrupt it. So I think I cut cantrips before I cut it, honestly. But yeah, three light of hope, two standard bears, two prismatic strands. Maybe I, my counters or my sideboard is too focused against aggro decks. Hmm. Here, let me. Alrighty. Uh, one more cut. I guess we cut a uh, of one mind because we still have Guide Mother, so Ninja can get in. I don't love that we're depowering our Seeker of the way. Uh, I'm actually going to keep this. Because, alright, it sounds odd, but what we can do is we can... We can't disrupt a Korean Ranger start, but we can keep them from gut-shotting our... Uh, standard bear. Priest of Titania. No attacks. Sacrifice Evolving Wilds. Get an island. Pass the turn. We're going to get more islands with this Ash Barons. Or blow something up with the Light of Hope. It's just never dead. Against Burn, gain 4 life. And occasionally aggro. Otherwise, you just upgrade one of your creatures, which, which this deck really takes advantage of. Alright, Timber Watch Elf, that's fine. Another Timber Watch Elf, still fine. Alright, get an island. Uh, but we're going to play out a planes. But yeah. Virtual, that's bad. Yeah. Okay, they lead the stampede. Still bad. Alright, caustic caterpillar. 
Priest Titania, Elvis Visionary. Or Elvish Vanguard. Okay, that's an actual issue. But here's how we're going to solve that. So we're going to play our journey and in response blow it up. Well, I would say play our journey, but we don't have a journey to play. But whatever. Details. Alright. But yeah, now since we, yeah, I think we just, I really like Light of Hope, not gonna lie. Okay, Fairy Seer. Uh... Bottom top. Maybe I should have taken the Thraven. All right. All right. Find our elves. We still know their last card in hand. Alright, they have no cards in hand. Alright, they're getting in with everything. Yeah, I think we just put a 1 1 counter on a standard bear. Block there, uh, block there. Oh wait, they have multiple priests of Titanias. I should countered. I should have killed Birchlore. Whoops. All right. Ninja. Okay. We are going to draw a card, and it's Spellstar Sprite. That's not actually that bad. Problem is, we don't have a lot of Fey. Alrighty. I'm actually just going to run out Sprite here because I have this other ninja. Okay, they just get in with that. Another Light of Hope. We can use this to trade up with our ninja. We can, yeah, there's so many things that Light of Hope is good for. All right, our best draw here would be an island because then we could play out Fairy Seer. Okay, that's not quite an island, but one day it will become an island. Alright. Ah, uh, crap. Yeah, we really wanted an island. Okay, Scattershot has to go. As does Wellwisher. Yep, no sun, no.
We don't. We can't counter Well Wisher, and it's not at the top of our priority list. I guess Caustic Caterpillar, Rise, Nelvish Vanguard isn't actually the end of the world. Yeah, another Birch Lure. I mean, you gotta play out the Archer. Sprite. Ready. So they're getting in with they're going in for the big attack. Block block uh block just take three. I'm surprised they got in with caustic. We have this uh This good old White Hope alongside Prismax Strands. I shouldn't have played out the land yet. Okay, there's Journey. I think since we have the clue, we can afford to put that on top. Uh, so that. So they either decide to trade, jump, or... Oh, they do nothing. Nothing is a perfectly acceptable answer. Okay, another Prismax Strands. Our main issue here is a Wellwisher. Oh, God. All right. Prevent green. But yeah, I think that does it for us. Dang it, I didn't. All right, Fairy Seer. Bottom, top. All 
righty. Swing in. Yep. I should have waited on playing that fairy seer. Yep. Okay. Yep. Ready? <sighs> That's a pain. Oh, the fact that it's taking so long. Okay. Korean Ranger is real bad, but luckily the standard bears. Resilient. All right. Not untapping, it's weird, but I'm fine with that. All right, we got a spell star sprite. All right, gonna take out that well wisher. Ready. Unfortunately, I can't really afford to, especially when they have the longbow and Quarian Ranger, can't really afford to run out of Fairy Seer in hopes of countering Distant Melody. Yep. Okay.
I should have done it in response to that second. Uh, whoops. All right, strands. Yeah, I should have done it in response to the second one. Did not. Whoops. They probably honestly, or no, they have to play against my, or they have to do it on my standard bear. Huh. They're not equipped. Uh, they didn't untap virtual, or so now I have more time. That seems like a punt. Put a 1-1 one, one counter on, yep. All right, Seeker of the way. Fairy Seer. Uh, bottom, top. Actually, I probably should topped uh, the second seeker of the way as well all right oh i'm i'm an idiot they can't use quarian ranger because it targets my standard bear Yeah, we're just kind of, I wouldn't say we're set, but we're not in a terrible place. I'm going to counter that. It's their last spell in hand. I could have also held it up for distant melody, but I want as many, uh, yeah. I need to get in with Ninja next turn. If I hadn't been afraid of Quarian Ranger, we could have lowered the amount of blockers they'll have. Alright. Uh, prevent from green. Alrighty. Of one mind. Prowess. Alright, Seeker of the Way. Doom, doom. Always oh, yield. Always oh, yield. We have another Prismax strands, so we can stop it for one more turn. Boom, 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 boom.
think again with everything. Alrighty. Yes. Guide mother. So we have at least another turn. The question is going to be, is that going to be enough? The answer? Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. And we win! Okay. I punted a little there, but we managed to make it through. Alrighty, so I'll see you guys for round number five. Alrighty, round number five. Uh, we are against Lobster411. Will we snatch a 4-1? Maybe this is a uh, indicator of that. Or will we finish 3-2? I feel like we always either go 4-1 or 2-3 on flavor of the week. I think we've won 4 before, right? Oh, no, I'm a, I'm a stupid. I needed to play out Fairy Seer first. I am the dumb. Base gland cycle. Alright, so they're blue black delver. Fairy Seer. Alright, uh. Top, top. Move to combat. Get in with Raven Inspector. Alright. They cast Stormbound Geist. Main deck. Maybe they're on Of One Mind as well? Maybe. But yeah, either way, Of One Mind. of one mind the Raven Inspector we'll leave up uh, spell Sir sprite to get this journey to nowhere down uh, this stormbound geist makes uh, guide mother a little worse and all my fae in general a little worse but I want to remove it with uh, drain nowhere alright they reveal mental note Already they get in for five, which is a worrying, a worrisome amount of damage. But fear not, we shall retaliate in force. All right. My one concern here is that they can snuff out to keep this uh, spray down. Counter. They have a ghastly demise. Haven't seen that in a while. Alright, so now we're in a pickle. They're getting in for five a turn. We're only getting in for three a turn. We're going to have to leave back, like, Guide Mother and Seer to. Yeah. My fear with Seer is that they have. The, like, uh, Echoing Decay. They're playing, uh,. Insectile aberration. So, or not that they're playing dismal backwater, which I haven't usually seen, but then again, my view of blue black delver is pretty small in the grand scheme of things. Uh, but yeah, let's fairy seer. Uh, ooh, drain nowhere is good. Uh, bottom top. Oh, wait. Since I know there's a card I want here. 
I feel comfortable keeping the island on top. Get in for two. All right. All right, they ghastly. You got his opponent. All right, they play another daughter. That's actually a pain. Gift of the Fae. Okay. No removal is good. Alright. Move to combat. They have us dead if they flip and counter our... Uh, Dizzying Swoop. Dizzying Swoop is good. Maybe I was a bit too hasty on cutting it. Alright, they deprive. Yeah, so I'm guessing this is the tale of our demise. A flipped Delver kills us. Oh, that definitely kills us. Yeah. Okay, Guide Mother. Guide Mother. We need Fairy Seer, we do not get Fairy Seer. And yeah, we die. Cool. Uh, so yeah. Alright, that wasn't great. Uh, hmm. I feel like Lumen Thread Fields. We need these journeys. Arden Vale's nice. I guess Guide Mother, because they're packing a lot of removal. <sighs> yeah, maybe things would have turned out differently if I hadn't punted that uh, first f sequence, but yeah. Alrighty, Mulligan. Uh, I'm going to keep bottom. Yeah. Base glance cycle. Get an island. All right. If they leave up a uh, blue mana, we do have to be wary of four spike. Yeah. Time to be wary of four spike. Alright, I'm gonna run out Seer. Uh. Top, top. Ready, the mental note. They mill over an angler. Alright, they play a delver. All of these. All right, now I just wanna. Now we just need to hope that they don't have. 
Yeah, Dismal Backwater seems like a really weird choice. Alright, they reveal Ghastly Demise. Hopefully they use it on my Seeker. Yep, they use it on my Seeker. Alright. Uh, of one mind. Land. Alright, that's a land. Seeker. Don't get spiked. Does not get spiked. Search for a planes. Move to combat. Swing in. They thought scour. Issue is we're not going to be able to. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try. Uh, hmm. Okay, so I'm sensing a Gurmag coming down. Uh, so if that is the case, which I suspect it will be, uh, then I think I ninja the deep hours try and draw out removal so they can't leave up counter. Actually, they can't leave up counter anyway. What am I talking about? All right. Yep, they get in. Uh, drain nowhere. Prowess. They kill my seeker? No, they counter. Alright. That's gonna have to be fine. Uh, yeah, no, just get through the damage, Thraven Inspector, they can still Gurmag Angler, alright, Another Sultai Scavenger. Not a creature spell. Yes. Alright, they have a counter spell. Okay. Ninja. Alright, get enough one mind. That's very good. But they're going to get in for 9 here. And if they remove my Seeker of the Way, then we're not going to have a way to counteract that. Alright, they thought Scour putting away a Shrivel. And another Brainstorm. Are they holding everything back? No, they're just getting in with Delver. That's good news for me. Alright, Prowess. Oh, he's yield. Oh, he's yield. Uh. Get an island. I think even though I want to, yeah. Swing in. Yep. All right, our main advantage here is that they have such a low card count in hand. We have a clue and a Thraven Inspector waiting in the wings. Alright, they cast a Gurmag Angler. But even up three mana, that could be exclude. Base Gland. Planes. Alright. 
Prairie Seer. Urnvale Tactician is good. Top, top. Draw. Yes. Oh, no, I didn't mean to shuffle my library. No, there goes my journey. Oh, that pun might just cost me the game. Oh, because I need that Arden Veil. Oh, I need that Arden Vale really badly. Oh, that definitely cost me the game. Well, Ninja is a whole pile of do nothing right now. Crack. Top. Top. Oh, God. I should have bought him. Er, nah. Cause I need to find journey, I guess. Journey or Ardenvale? There's Ardenvale. this up. Uh, I think I already know what the cards are. I have no interest in scrying them to the bottom. Because they are creatures. Alright. Dizzy and Swoop. We're dead to removal or counter. Yep. Alrighty. Well, we ended 3-1, uh, which is even. Uh, I punted a lot. The mana base still needs work. Uh, yeah, I should add another island. Take out an evolving wild. Uh, but yeah, so that was basically it. Uh, I think I was thinking of adding one thing that's a pain is that we really don't have that much removal. So we're closer to blue, mono blue Delver, but the issue is they get to leave up a lot of uh, counter magic. So basically our hope is that we just play good creatures and yeah. But yeah, Ardenvale, I think I was too, I might jump the gun on Ardenvale. Yeah, I expect to be playing this deck much more in uh, coming times. 
Hmm. Yeah, I can't really cut a piracy charm. I guess blue blast and standard bear work against affinity. Maybe keep one White of Hope main deck, one Arden Bale. Uh, hmm. Maybe I don't need as many standard bears. <sighs> that seems, but yeah. Well, uh, however this list ends up, I do think that there is a lot of power here. And I am interested in where it goes next. But yeah, as always, this has been Diego Brando on Magic Online. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to share the video, it really does help me out. Uh, and yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye.